In this video, we will understand how to prevent duplicate form submissions in the Spring Boot application. This is also called as double posting problem in the web applications. First, let's understand what is double posting problem. I have a user registration form where I am filling the details, username, email ID, phone number, click on submit. User registration is successful with user ID 101. Now assume that I am trying to reload this page. As this form is submitted with your first request, if I try to resubmit, it is asking me to confirm the resubmission. I clicked on continue. Then see here, one more record is inserted with the 102. So this is called duplicate form submission or double posting problem. So unintentionally I am reloading the page. My intention is not to recreate the record. Just I am trying to refresh the page. For every refresh, one new record is inserting. That is a duplicate record. This problem is called double posting problem. Now, first form is displaying. User is filling the form and clicking on the submit button. Once you click on the submit, post request is going to the server which is performing the business operation. Assume that which is inserting a record in the database. Then it is returning the successful response back to the user on the same form. So request is sent and response is received for the user. After that, user is trying to reload the form by using F5. So if user is refreshed that form, resubmitting the post request. Again, post request is going to the server which is inserting that record into the database. So duplicate record is getting inserted into the database. This is called duplicate form submission or double posting scenario. So then what is the solution or how to prevent the users not to submit the same form again and again. So that's where post redirect get pattern comes into picture. I'm repeating once again, post redirect get pattern provides the solution to resolve double posting or duplicate submission in the web applications. All right, let us try to understand what is this post redirect get pattern and how to work with this pattern, All right? Post redirect get, which is also called as a PRG, is a web development design pattern that prevents duplicate form submission. In simple terms, uh, design pattern means what? It is a solution for some common problems, right? So this design pattern also giving some steps to follow so that we can resolve that double posting problem in web applications. All right. Let us see the execution flow of this PRG pattern. First, user is going to fill the form, click on the submit. Then post request is going to the server. After processing is completed, don't return the response directly redirect the request to another method so here request is getting redirected to another method which is having a get request method right so form is submitted with the post request but it is redirected to a method which is binded to http get request that get request is sending response to the user with a success message so end user is receiving the success message from get request method but not from the post request method now once the user refreshes the page, the request is going to the get method, not to the post method. The get is the item potent method, which is not going to perform any operation for us, right? Which is just simply going to load the success message. But if you observe the earlier, in the double posting scenario, user is filling the form, clicking on the submit, post request is going to the server, response is coming directly to the end user. If we refresh the page, again the same post request is going to submit which is going to insert a duplicate record. But in this scenario, user in the PRG scenario, user is filling the form, click on the submit method, post request is going to the server which is redirecting the user to a get request method which is sending success messages to the end user. Even if user refresh the page, get request will be submitted to the server which is going to send the confirmation page to the user which is going to display success message to the user but form is not getting submitted so using this post redirect get design pattern we can resolve double posting problem or we can prevent duplicate form submissions so i hope you understood what is double posting problem and how to solve that problem by using prg pattern here i am going to create one simple spring boot web application here Project packaging type is war, build tool is maven, java version 8 we are using, name of the project I am using as spring boot, 
and we need several dependencies here first one is web dependency then I am using Lombok dependency adding tomcat embed Jasper now let us try to create the classes here base package is created now I am creating one model class and controller class for handling form submission first let me create a model class new class with a name called user this class we are using as a form binding class spring mvc can bind the form data to model classes all right so with this my model class is ready now let me create a controller class new class here i am creating a class with a name called user controller to make a class as a controller in the spring mvc we have a annotation called at the rate controller right now my class is a controller first let me write one method public string load user form i am writing one method which is responsible to load the user form let me bind this method to url pattern request mapping value here one method can be mapped with multiple url patterns here i am mapping with two url patterns one is slash another one is create user account and giving method is equal to request method dot get i am binding my method to http request get method right now so finally this method should return logical view name let me create a view name as a create user account this is logical file name for this form we need to send the binding object right so let me take a model scope to send the data from controller to presentation so how to add the data to a model scope using add attribute method model dot add attribute key comma value so here i am taking user model value is a user model object so new user so now we need to have a jsp with this logical file name right so let us see here i am going to create jsp file under web app new folder as views so i am creating a file with a name called create user account that is a jsp file other jsp select the jsp file next file name create user account dot js here we need to add a form so the form that we are going to develop based on spring form tag library so let us include spring form tag library here control space tag lib form prefix also form now we can develop our form using spring form tag library so form action is create user model attribute is user which we are sending from our controller this is user model let me take this now model attribute i am passing as user model method is equal to post username path is u name email path is email in phone number path is phone number whatever the path attributes we are giving these attributes should match with our model class variables then only form data can be binded to this model object right now let us do some properties file configuration right now once this form is submitted it is going to submit the request to this create user method with a post request so to handle this form submission we should have another method in the controller let me write one more method public string create account created successfully so this is the method that i am writing so what is the purpose of this method this method is used to handle user account creation form submission right this method we are writing which is used to handle user account creation form submission once the form is submitted just i am logging the object here you can write the logic here to store the data into the database then finally i am sending a success message to the user and i am returning a same view name so how to access this message in the view now using expression language so just let me access that message by using dollar of message so account is created or not it is going to display let me print that message in the green color font color is equal to let's restart our server first 
load this form form is loaded successfully let's clear the console now submit this form now i am clicking on submit as you can see that account created successfully so request is submitted to the server with the http post request now you can see that our logger is printed user form submitted with the given details i am writing the log level by using info by default in the spring boot info level will be enabled so that's why my log message is printing on the console using console appender now let me try to reload this form by using f5 now when i reload it is asking confirm resubmission i click done continue then one more record got one more time the form got submitted this is called duplicate form submission how can you confirm the form is resubmitted let us check our logger second time also logger is printed that means form is submitted twice now if i press f5 again continue third logger is printed so with the same details form is submitted three times by using this refresh option with the help of this refresh option i am able to resubmit the form so this is called double posting problem or reform duplicate submission then we need to resolve this problem by using post redirect and get pattern that is the main agenda of this video all right how i need to solve that how i need to implement that prg pattern in my project once the user is submitting the form post request will go to the server don't return the response directly redirect the user to a get request method which is going to display success message even if we refresh with that again get request will be submitted which is going to reload the same page but form is not getting submitted here now let me implement that i want to redirect the request to another controller method public string user account creation success now here what i am going to do return the view name from this method from get method not from the post method then what this post method has to do this method it has to redirect the control to this method then how to redirect it in the spring to redirect from one request method to another request method we will use redirect colon slash to which action we want to redirect right so this is my action name where i want to redirect it so then what it is going to display it is going to return the logical view name so earlier we have only two methods now i created a new method once the post request is submitted here logic will be executed storing the success message in the model scope and which is redirecting to another method this method is responsible to display view right now first load this form form is loaded now enter the details phone number click on submit right so form is submitted now see here user account creation url url is changed to user account creation success now you see here form is submitted user account creation success method is called that means when i am sending the request from the form post request is sent and it is calling this method this method is storing the data to the model attribute and which is returning to you this method this logger is printed this is called prg post request redirecting to get request method so this is what we discussed in the diagram submitting a request to the post perform the logic redirect the user to the get request which is displaying a success message to the user even if you refresh the form then get request is going to call let us try to refresh the form form is refreshed which method is calling is the post request is submitting or redirect that get request method is getting called our get request method only getting called let us refresh once again again also creation success that method is getting called so we are able to achieve that prg post redirect and get form submitted through post request performed the operation redirected to get request which is returning the form again and user if you re refresh the page get request is submitting to the server but not the post request 